Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Cooper's Violet. As you might have seen this last Tuesday, a third video did not come out for dressing modestly. And I'm going to tell you why. I was on vacation. Vacation from what, you might ask? Well, I was building my cabin on my property, and you don't have to be rich to do this. I, uh, I'm not done yet, but I uh, started building my cabin, and you can uh, source materials off of Craigslist and other things to get free building materials, and um, you can build your own cabin. And you could even build your own cabin on my property if you decided to join my community. Anyways, so um, there was supposed to be dressing modestly number three coming out and then uh, every other Tuesday would have followed with the series of videos unfortunately the phone that I was recording on that had all my videos ready to go went into a loop and now my phone won't recover any of my videos so, if you just have patience, I will have those videos up and ready to go on uh, some other days. But until then, we can get into this next series of study. Let's do this. Hey, this is Cooper's Violet. While we're waiting for those modesty videos to surface, we are going to start on a new study called Clean and Unclean Foods. Get out your Bible, I'll have verses ready to go, and if you want to just write them down and look them up later, you're more than welcome to do that. I have them all ready for this study, so we can get into it. So, we're going to talk about clean and unclean foods of the Torah. So, to start, we must eat according to the Torah. There are clean foods that we're supposed to eat and there's unclean foods that we're not supposed to eat. And just to start, a lot of people th say that this law has been thrown out the door, nailed to the cross, but I'm going to start right in the book of Revelation, which is the last book of the Bible. And uh, in today's society, it is very hard to eat according to the Torah because even though you think you might be eating according to the Torah the corrupt businesses have put so many chemicals into our food and named things that you don't recognize the name of so you could see something on the back of a nutrition label and be like oh okay there's no pork in this but actually there is because they have it hidden under this huge fancy word Anyways, let's jump into it. This is part one of clean and unclean foods. So if you go to Revelation chapter 2, verse 19 through 20, and let me just say I do apologize about the, the echoing in here, and uh, it could be due to my camera that I'm using. Um, my other camera was pretty good quality and unfortunately it crapped out so um, anyways Revelation chapter 2 19 through 20 says I know your deeds and your love and faith and service and preservance and that your deeds of late are greater than at first but I have this against you that you tolerate the woman Jezebel who calls herself a prophetess and she teaches and leads my bond servants astray so that they commit acts of immor immor immortality excuse me and eat things sacrificed to idols so even back to the book of Revelation Jezebel was getting um, people to eat unclean foods and even 
these unclean foods were sacrificed to idols. So when people say, oh, well, Jesus died on the cross and he nailed all those um, sins to the cross and all those bad foods to the cross, no, that's not how it works. Then how come in Revelation they're talking about uh, Jezebel getting God's people to eat unclean foods? So, we're going to jump right back into the Old Testament, otherwise known as the Torah, which is the first five books of the Old Testament. And uh, to start, we're going to be reading Leviticus chapter 11. And the Lord spake unto Moses and to Aaron, saying unto them, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. Whatsoever parteth the hoof, and is cloven-footed, and cheweth the cud among the beasts, that shall ye eat. Nevertheless, nevertheless, these shall ye not eat of them that chew the cud, or of them that divide the hoof, as the camel. Because he cheweth, cheweth the cud, but divideth not the hoof, he is unclean unto you. And the coney. If you want to know what a coney is, check out my picture I'll list right here. Because he cheweth the cud, but divideth not the hoof. He is unclean unto you, and the hare, because he cheweth the cud, but divideth not the foot. He is unclean unto you, and the swine, known as the pig, you know, bacon, pork, pepperoni, pizza, stuff like that, sausage pizza. I got to give up all that. It's worth it, isn't it? I mean, Jesus died on the cross. He went through all the pain and torture. I'm sure you can give up pork. I'm sure you can give up not eating uh, the foods that we're not supposed to eat. Anyways, at Leviticus 11, verse 7, And the swine, though he divide the hoof, and he be cloven-footed, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. And the other thing is, is like, pigs, they are scavengers, you know, so they will eat meat, they will eat grain, you know, so they're nasty if you really look into what pigs eat and what not. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcasses shall ye not touch, they are unclean to you. So just like I've said in my other videos before, you might see my cats walking around, you might see my dogs walking around, those are unclean animals, you're not allowed to touch them, you're not allowed to petting, obviously that's touching, you're not allowed to eat them, you know, they're unclean. And, you know, that's sad stuff, you know, you have an animal and and don't just go and get rid of it, but I would say that uh, you keep that animal until it dies and then not get another one. That's my plan anyways. Alright, Leviticus 11, we're at verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever hath fins and scales in the waters, in the seas and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters, and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. So if that sounds confusing, just go straight to the verse. That was Le Leviticus chapter 11, verse 10. We're going to continue at verse 11. They shall be even an abomination unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, but ye shall have their carcasses but ye shall have their carcasses in an abomination whatsoever hath no fins nor scales in the waters that shall be an, an abomination unto you 
and these are they which ye shall have in an abomination among the fowls. They shall not be eaten. They are an abomination. The eagle and the ostrich, which I'm assuming is a bearded vulture. Check it out. And the osprey. A lot of people confuse osprey to an eagle or a bald eagle or a falcon. It's really in the eagle family, so it looks like a hawk or an eagle, like I said. And the vulture and the kite after his kind. Every raven after his kind, and the owl, and the nighthawk, and the cuck owl, and the hawk after his kind, and the little owl, and the comorant, my apologies if I'm saying that wrong, and the great owl, and the swan, and the pelican, and the gear eagle, and the stork, the heron after its, its kind. The heron after her kind, excuse me, and the lapwing and the bat are unclean. Now let me just stop right there for a moment. If you go to a lot of sources online and you put unclean animals, clean animals, they will tell you that duck and goose or geese and the like are clean to eat. But there's a problem about that. If you look up Leviticus chapter 11 verse 18, verse 18, it says, and the swan and the pelican, okay? Now, if you look at images of the swan's feet and then you look at images images of the pelican's feet, What's that have in common? It's exactly like the duck and geese feet, guys. And girls, don't be deceived. These sources online might say that the duck and goose are okay to eat. They are lying to you or they don't know any better. It clearly says in the Torah, and the swan and the pelican, okay, and their kind. Okay, the swan is in the same category as the duck and the goose. The pelican is in the same category as the duck and the goose. Duck and geese are not clean to eat. They're in the unclean category. Let me tell you, friends, you cannot eat these animals. This is wrong. So, like I said, anyone who teaches you that these animals are okay to eat are liars, and the Father is not in them, just like the Bible says. Do not just trust the internet or person who speaks with gentle lips, for they may be deceiving you. And you know what is looking at like I'm into 12 minutes, so I'm going to cut this video off. Please join me for video two of clean and unclean foods. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you'd like to donate a phone to me uh, that's used, um, go ahead and send it to the address below. I prefer AT&T, but I'm open for straight talk or T-Mobile or US Cellular. And I'll just get a new phone. It's not a big deal, but right now, I'm just borrowing somebody else's. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching.